Hello, my name is Rachel Broussard, and today I'll be presenting my vlog project on my Noma artwork, which is the helmet mask created by the Combs people in the 20th century out of uh, Cameroon, the fungi, fungum region, excuse me. Um, first, I'm going to start with F2C2 on the artwork. Um, as sort of seen in this picture, the eyes have very high relief and the mouth is very intricate and carved in to where it shows a bearing, um, like it's bearing its teeth, which has a very intimidating look upon the person who's looking into the eyes. Um, it was meant to be a mask for religious and ceremonial cer ceremonies where the shaman would wear it while he transcends most likely on a lot of drugs to go talk to their gods and goddesses it has a religious and performance function therefore there the um combs people were very religious they had praise of animals and worship of nature as seen by the artwork because the um, wood used for the artwork, wood is represented as a spiritual vessel, which would help him transcend, but it also shows the praise of nature. Um, the intricate design all over the head shows that they're very negative, they're very little negative space. There's no anywhere that you put anything else like this feather is going down the head and fiber rope all the way down and even at the tips they have little bones at the tip of the fiber rope so everywhere is pretty much covered on the face um okay so the tradition and change I am comparing the helmet mask to the camelid sacrum. They both have a ceremonial and religious function, while the helmet mask is more intricate and has more pieces, which shows the sacredness and the difference between the cultures. Um, the helmet mask also uses wood as the form of sacred, sacred uh, vessel, while the camelid sacrum uses bones. Uh, both objects, um, both artworks, incorporate animal remains, while the helmet mask incorporates a lot more because most of the helmet mask is used from animal rema remains, including different bones and feathers and horns. But they, together they show the praise of animals uh, throughout different cultures. Um, that's F2C2 and Tradition and Change. I got my sources from Noma and my notes on the Camelid Sacrum.